sometimes patients even attribute to vision loss to aging, that it's just a normal process of, of growing older. And the truth is, is that's not really the case. Macular telangiectasia is actually a group of diseases, but the most common one we think about is macular telangiectasia type 2. We think of it as a neurodegenerative condition. Certainly some patients can lose a significant amount of vision to the level of legal blindness or even worse. So I certainly want people to know, or a patient to know what to look out for. Patients may describe uh, vision loss, blurred vision, distortion, waviness of lines, or even missing portions of the vision. It does have some features that are similar to macular degeneration, such as the development of choroidal neovascularization. Choroidal neovascularization is when an abnormal vessel grows underneath the retina and it can leak fluid or blood and cause vision loss. That's often a late finding and we treat it rather similarly with intravitreal anti-VEGF injections or it can present a little bit earlier than macular degeneration. When patients present early, we can monitor them, we can follow and make sure that we don't see these later complications that are associated with macular telangiectasia. And if they do arise, we're able to address them promptly. And it tends to be slowly progressive. There's no primary preventative treatments available. We think there's an association with diabetes and hypertension or high blood pressure. So certainly working hand in hand with a primary care provider to control these conditions is certainly going to reduce the risk of progression or, or potentially slow the rate of change. There is a clinical trial ongoing right now looking at uh, different factors to try and slow the rate of progression. The, the MACTEL study group is a longitudinal group that's looking at patients once a year. That's how slow it goes, is that these patients are being observed once a year to determine what the rate of change is in the natural history of the disease. We're very hopeful for some different treatments that may be in the pipeline right now for the treatment of macular telangiectasia.